Good day to you, Stone Nation. It is Monday morning. It's actually Sunday evening when I'm recording this. And I'm going to get right into it. Well, first, no, I'm not going to get right into it. That's a complete lie. So I'm not going to get right into it. Um, don't forget Wednesday's episode, because what I'm going to do on Wednesday, I'm going to put a link. Um, I mentioned this before, I believe, but I'm going to put a link on uh, the podcast, underneath the podcast, or underneath wherever you're watching this, LinkedIn, etc. And I'm going to be scheduling 15-minute calls throughout the day. And I am willing to talk to everybody and anybody, because I know that I am shocking again back to people. So if you want to have a chat, 15 minutes, then simply just book, schedule a call and we'll have a chat. We'll have a chat. And uh, whether it's over Zoom or a phone call, we'll have a chat. And uh, yeah, any questions you've got regarding self-storage or anything at all in the world, um, if you want to talk about Man City, feel free. <laughs> Whatever you want to chat to me about. Um, because ultimately, do you know what? I absolutely love helping people. And if I can be of any assistance to anybody, then uh, I feel like I kind of owe you guys because... Um, listening to the podcast, having the great feedback and stuff like that. So if I can, if I can give a day, I don't know, maybe every two months, maybe every month or whatever, I don't know. But if I can, if I can do that and it makes a difference and helps people and just give someone a bit of advice or whatever they need, then I would love to do it. So don't forget Wednesday's episode, make sure that you book a time and we'll have a chat. Okay. So I'm going to tell you, we're, I'm going to start with some figures here that have been so impressive. So this is Willoughby's figures. Tuesday's figures at Clough Road. I don't actually know how well we've done at Clough Road yet because I haven't actually opened it. I've only just got these figures. Well, I've just got back home now from going to Scarborough with the kids, playing on the arcades. And um, yeah, I don't actually know what, what I know roughly what we've done, but I haven't opened them yet. Um, so I do know that there's been 18 reservations across the two sites. So six at Clough Road and 12 at Willoughby. And I want to start with this fact here because obviously we are testing, showing the prices online. This week has been the best week according to google analytics right now so if we look at google analytics if we pull it up um we had 256 people visit the site we got had 18 reservations 18 divided by 256 equals seven percent seven percent conversion rate on the website it is unheard of absolutely bananas it is crazy i mean do you know what i'm gonna dive deeper into this because it is just absolutely knocking every other website out there. Uh, this sounds horrible, but we, we, you wouldn't normally expect this conversion rate. These expect, uh, conversion rates are crazily high. And yeah, which, I mean, page, yes, yeah, more. it's just uh, page views, two, six, it's in 269 uh, views here. And I've got 256. So even if it is 269, so let's have what, 269 divided by 18 equals so 18 divided by 269 equals 6.7%. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Beautiful. And we're displaying prices. So at the minute, I had a conversation um, with our pay-per-clicks team. And there, there was there was a, asking me about, um, do am I going to continue doing this? Am I not? And do you know what? The, and so many people ask me the same thing. The, the answer is right now, but... We're not gonna. We're not gonna change it at the minute. We're not gonna change it. I'm gonna continue doing it just for a little bit of time. And may, I mean, every single week that goes on, we're getting six and seven percent conversion rates. Why would we change it? Why would we change it? It's you, we don't want to change it just yet. However, <laughs> I'm still in the camp of of displaying prices isn't the correct thing to do because we want to educate our customers. We want to talk to them, um, but we need more data. We need more data. And if I'm honest. I'm surprised by these results. I never ever, I thought we'd be changing it back within a week or two weeks maximum of displaying the prices. I didn't think it would work. And yet here we are. I think this is our third or fourth week and we've had our best week ever, which is beautiful stuff. So 18 reservations, only 269 people visited the website. Brilliant. Absolutely phenomenal. And some of them, by the way, are me. Um, it's the pay-per-clicks team. It's, you know, so, right. So let's go through the figures then. Number of quotes, we had 15 quotes last week. And again, the amount of quotes we have will be a lot lower because people, and the, they've already got to, uh, we're rid of two of the biggest objections. The three biggest objections, price, because when they get when they actually speak to us, they already know the price. So the price and then also um, the, the location because they know where it is. So when they ring us up, they know where it is and they know our price. So therefore, you would expect us to close a high number of these. So... 15 quotes, and that is two quotes a day. Reservations were 12, so that's an 80% conversion rate. We would expect it to be around about 80%. It is in America, and so there's no difference here. 80% should be our bare minimum. 
Uh, I think in America they say that benchmark should be around about 75%. So we think we're better than other people. So we're, <laughs> we're going to go 80%. So as, as you would expect, five forward movings. So that's 41, 42% forward movings. Number of movings last week was 10. So we had 10 movings for 1,125 square foot. However, we had eight other movings. So people taking extra rooms. And that meant we moved in 1,645 square foot middle of November or just before middle of November. And we're moving in 1,645 square foot in a week. And we still had a negative week. <laughs> yeah, we saw a negative week. That is bananas. So we can't control the move-outs, but what we can control is the move-ins. And the move-ins were phenomenal, as you can see. 1,645 in just one site. Beautiful stuff. Uh, number of times the loot was rented out was five times. Where did the quotes come from? Okay, these don't add up to the full amount. <laughs> so we've got six from Google, we've got four from Passing By, and we've got one from Use Before. All the rest of them are nowhere. Uh, maybe they haven't given that information. Maybe Sometimes when I was talking to, to the team, they did say it was hard to get people to give the... Um, to, to get whether whether get whether because before it was just ticking a form on a on the quote form. However, now it's we've got to ask them, and so some people don't want to ask or some people, you know, it just it's sometimes a little bit difficult. Right. Um wife just rang me, so I'm gonna have to put the kids to bed. Uh I'll give them a kiss. Square foot moved in, 1645. Square foot moved out. 1845. Oh, killer. 1845 square foot moved out. Unbelievable. Net result was minus 200 square foot. So we lost 200 square foot. Um, 18 rooms moved in internally. 21 rooms moved out. So that's 359. Containers in two, containers out seven. So 45 containers rented out. Car parking, we have got uh, four car parking spaces rented out. And the occupancy is 83.69%. Um, so pretty good, still pretty good, Near, nearly at the top we've ever been. I think um, we're about 250 square foot down for the month. And obviously, last the, we started this month the best we've ever had. Um, £43.23 per move-in for merchandise sales, so that's good. £61,000 for insurance, uh, so 6100 average. So again, that is really, really good, above that 5000 threshold. Amount of move-ins due this week, this is a bad bit about it. Seven move-ins due this next week, and... We have, I'm just trying to open up a, another form for you so you don't have to wait for me. There it is, weekly revenue form. Um, yep, so we had uh, seven move-ins due, 675 square foot due, but 12 move-outs due, 12 move-outs due for 1,095 square foot. Oh, that is an absolute killer. Um, what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to go through, like I normally do, uh, the the 18 reservations. So the 18 reservations we got, I'm going to go through how people heard about us on tomorrow's podcast. So we can um, we can go through that. Okay, so the amount of money we took, we took £26,821 and a penny last week. We took £2,940.68 from Clough Road, £7,410.45 at Beverly. That was a really good week at Beverly. Really, really, really good. Rubbish week at Clough Road, really good at Beverly, and a rubbishy week at Willoughby as well. £16,469.88. No bounce direct debits at Beverly. £526.77 bounce direct debits at Willoughby. Okay, my friends, I believe that is all the information that I've got for you right now. I'm going to give my kids a kiss and read them a bedtime story. And I will be speaking to you on Tuesday morning, Wednesday morning, and Friday morning this week. Already recorded Friday's episode. Can't remember what it's about now, but it's a bloody good one. All right, guys, love you, appreciate you, and I'll see you tomorrow morning. Tara.